Hi. Some viewers have asked me about validation in Haskell. There are multiple kinds of validation. Checking that values have a certain structure, which is deterministic, and things like querying a database to see if a username is already taken, which is effectful and indeterministic. Today I'll focus on simple deterministic validation using smart constructors. <laughs> One way of ensuring a value is valid is to have it broken down into simpler parts and enforce a correct by construction guarantee that way. A nice example of this is the modern URI package and its URI data type. The individual parts of a URI are required to construct a URI value directly using the constructor. You can also parse a URI string, but then you need to handle invalid URIs. Another good example is the non-empty list data type in base, which guarantees that there is at least one element in the list by keeping the first element and the rest of the list separated. We are going to implement the serial number module, a simple example including some serial number validation rules. We can split the serial number into smaller pieces or groups, but the groups are chunks of text that won't be further split up and instead validated against a set of legal characters. We will use a technique called smart constructors and make it impossible to obtain a serial number value without having it validated. The serial number data type is a new type wrapper around a list of text values. Make serial number validates the text value and returns either a validation error or a serial number value. The user of this function can pass a text value directly and have the smart constructor deal with proper text splitting. The validation error data type encodes the validation errors that can occur. We'll add those as we go along. The crucial part of the smart constructor's approach is to not expose the data constructor in the module exports list. We only expose the serial number type, not the serial number constructor. We do export validation error along with all its constructors and the make serial number function, which is our smart constructor. Now let's implement make serial number. We will split the text string into groups and validate each group individually. We split by a dash separator. If there are four valid groups, we have a valid serial number. Otherwise, it's got the wrong number of groups. We need to define the validate group function. If the group length is not 4, it's invalid. We define len in the where block. If the set of invalid characters in the group is not empty, it's invalid. The invalid character set is defined as the difference between the provided ones and the set of valid characters. We need some new imports for working with hash sets. And we add a constructor for the invalid characters error. Finally, we will define the valid characters to be a set from uppercase A to Z and digits. In case the two invalid patterns weren't matched, we have a valid group. Let's try this in the REPL. We run the module command on serial number to only have access to exported definitions. We can't use the serial number constructor directly. To construct text values, we will use the overloaded strings extension. This example 
has invalid characters. The next try has an invalid group length. And this one has the wrong number of groups. Our last attempt is good. Other functions can use the validated serial number value with certainty. Let's create a rendering function that takes us back to a valid serial number text string. It will join the groups by the separator, which we will extract from the previous code and instead have defined at the top level. We need to add render serial number to the exports list. Now we can create a serial number and map render serial number over the smart constructor result. So, using smart constructors, you can make sure values have been validated, resulting in a sort of correct by construction guarantee. As soon as you have created the value, even from user input, you can pass it around and be confident in its validity. You won't need to do ad hoc defensive programming. If these serial number groups had some special meanings to other parts of the program, they could be extracted safely. We could even change the new type to hold four separate text values instead of a list to avoid the partiality. Also, if these values are constructed regularly in your own code, like in tests, you can create a quasi quoter using the smart constructor and have them validated at compile time. Then you don't need to handle validation errors at runtime. You'd get the serial number value directly in our example. That's it for this brief introduction to smart constructors. Show notes and source code will be available at haskell-at-work.com. <laughs>